Well, it's the biggest play in hockey in years, and it happened off the ice. Today, the NHL announced a new massive Canadian broadcast deal. Rogers Communications has secured exclusive national television and multimedia rights for the next 12 years. The cost? An unprecedented $5.2 billion. Again, from coast to coast. But the hockey deal also signals a new era in this country's broadcasting landscape. Whether it was on radio in the 1930s and 40s or television starting in 1952, line mate has always been the CBC. Today changes that, though not immediately. It's a little complicated. What is clear is that this is a deal about money, culture, changing technologies, and reaching more fans than ever before. We have extensive coverage tonight on this story, starting with the CBC's Peter Armstrong on how this deal came together. Peter. Mark, this is a blockbuster of a deal, and almost no one saw it coming. For 60 years, this was the main face of hockey in this country. Rogers communication. Today, Rogers has gone from bit player to the dominant figure in Canadian sports broadcasting, outbidding both the CBC and TSN by a large margin. For the first time, a premium sports league in North America has sold their exclusive rights to one entity. Puck comes around the boards. And this deal to broadcast these games came together in less than two weeks. Until then, TSN and the CBC were seen as the major players. Then last Wednesday, a delegation from Rogers traveled to New York to meet with the NHL. Scott Moore, the president of broadcast, Keith Pelly, the president of Rogers Media, and Nadir Mohammed, the company's president and CEO. During that meeting, the deal emerged. Moore, Pelly, and Mohammed got into a van heading back to the airport. And I yelled back at Keith. I said, remember what we said three years ago, that we'd be the number one sports media brand? And Nadir finished the sentence and said, nobody's going to be laughing now. Rogers had won the sole rights to NHL games in Canada. NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman broke the news to the CBC last Thursday. Heart sank. I said, I said, frig. We're out of hockey. But Lacroix says and, uh, Bettman told him to reach out okay, to Rogers. For four that. days, negotiating teams met at this Toronto hotel. Slowly, a four-year deal began to come together. Hockey Night in Canada could be salvaged, but Rogers will control. The CBC won't have to pay anything, but won't get any revenue either. And all decisions, including staffing, will be made by Rogers. Leaving Canada's most colorful and controversial host wondering what's next. You know, don't ask me a question because there's no comment. And, that, and that's uh, I, I, I'll ask you, do I have a job? That's the only thing I can ask you. Don is an icon. Um, Don's also, uh, I believe, turning 80. Um, we'd like to maintain a relationship with Don, and it'll be, you know, a discussion as to what he wants to do. So, what does this mean for you, the viewer? The scope of it is enormous, and the details are still being worked out, but Rogers says a Saturday night will look more like U.S. college basketball's March Madness, with every region of the country, multiple games on multiple channels. Mark? All right, Peter, thanks so much. So there's a new big shot in Canada's NHL broadcasting industry. And if you're wondering about the business strategy behind this move, the CBC's Havard Gould has that part of the story. Sports fans are loyal, sports programming increasingly valuable. Because while other shows can be recorded and watched later, or even found somewhere else, with sporting events, whoever has the rights gets viewers. Sports is the one piece of content today that is not taped or PBR. It, it's watched live and preferred live. Now Rogers, with a few exceptions, controls NHL hockey in Canada. It hopes to stop its cable customers from cutting the cord while adding content for its TV and radio stations and internet streaming rights. And if Rogers can find a way to make money on mobile devices, it has all the hockey Canadians might buy. Canadians want to watch hockey live, in person, on TV, on their mobile, on their wallet. They want to see their favorite players score the game-winning goal. They want to be a part of the excitement and drama. And we want to bring that experience to hockey fans wherever they are. It's not just hockey. Rogers is now the dominant player in professional sports in Canada. The company already owned the Blue Jays. 
a chunk of the company that controls the Raptors and the Maple Leafs. But it's the hockey deal that now puts Rogers in a class of its own. Everything is based on content. Who, whoever has the content owns the game, and that's exactly what Rogers has done. You're watching TSN, Canada's sports leader. TSN depends heavily on hockey. It still has some regional NHL games, but it has a huge gap to fill now. Analysts are already pointing out that Rogers, if it needs money, could always sell TSN some games. Under the deal, CBC's Hockey Night in Canada will continue to broadcast for four more years. But it has been suggested that's a gesture designed to give the public broadcaster a graceful exit from the game. It certainly will be difficult for any broadcaster, after being virtually shut out for more than a decade, to get back in the NHL broadcasting game. You have to wonder, even after the 12 years, is anybody going to be ready to step back in to, and take that over? While this huge bet, more than $5 billion, might seem risky at first glance, it is also a bet on something solid, Canadians' passion for hockey. However, it is still a very big deal, even for a company with a history of making bold moves. Mark? Thanks, Havard. That's Havard Gould in Toronto tonight.